Hi oh guys, this is Review Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the uh, Windows 10 Lumia 635. So let's get started. The first new thing I like is the whole lock screen um, animation, the way that it just um, disappears when you um, swipe up. And if you do have a um, password uh, activated on your uh, Nokia Lumia, it will be transparent. Now this I do like because the whole black on the um, screen isn't for me, but I do like this. Just enter my password here. Now as you can see, there's a whole new um, interface. If we, this will focus, sorry about that. I'll just show you that quickly. There we go. It, uh, the tiles, um, I don't know if you can see that too well, but they, um, you can set your colour of your tiles and they are transparent. Oh, there we go, if you see that. So that is another thing I do like. Um, if you scroll down from here, you get all new um, quick action from your notifications bar. Now I do like this. Uh, it is very handy uh, if you don't want to go to settings and get all your different bits. But I do like that. Instead of having four, you have fifteen. So it's quite a big difference, but I do like that. Um, go away. That's it. Uh, if you scroll to the um, right here, this is also transparent so that I do like as well makes the whole new makes it look a lot cleaner better um, this is the technical preview version um, I can't wait until the actual version of it comes out I think that will be pretty amazing um, instead of having a little um, magnifying glass you have this long bar which I actually prefer uh, you just use that by searching your apps like whatsapp or anything like that uh, if we go to settings here as you see there the animate as you see there the animation has changed as well um, when you go out in on and off an app it comes in and it zooms in instead of goes uh, to the side, which I like. Uh, the it has a new um, search bar in the settings now. So say you want to like, uh, find a setting quickly, you just put in whatever you're looking for, and it will take you straight to it. Um, so that is very handy. Um, they've cleaned the settings up really nice. I do like it. Um, they've put it on in the, to their categories instead of scroll, scroll, and then you know it takes you ages to find what you're actually looking for. Um, so I do like that. So say if we go to system here, uh, display. Maybe if I put this down a bit, you might be able to see it better. So right, right down a bit. Um, no, no, no. Just keep it on a medium. That's about it. Um, yeah. So say if, uh, if I um, show you this quickly. If I go to lock screen, let's go all the way to the bottom. And this sign in options is for your password. Um, it took me quite a long time to figure it out, but yeah, the sign in options on your lock screen and your settings is where you will find your password if you want to add or remove a password and change how often it will um, activate your password. So that is nice. Um, if we go back to lock screen here. all the way to the bottom. This is a new feature. Double tap on the no uh, navigation bar to turn off the screen. 
So if we turn that on here, um, say your power button at the side here is not working, all you'll do is you double tap and it will lock your screen. So that is nice. But like I said, I can't wait for the actual version of this to come out because I think they will improve it um, quite a lot. Now another thing is to do with the keyboard here. One second, just to get a new message. There we go. If we go down to the keyboard here. As you can see, there's a white dot. So say if you type and you want to get to a certain place, you'll just do that instead of tapping and then it goes off like it just did and it gets all this stuff as you can see but with that you just do that and you'll type in what you want to type um, another thing is it has voice um, command on this as well so say you want to uh, type a message tell John I went to the shops and it would just do it. It's very good um, with the uh, thing. So I've done a whole um, complete message and it done it um, really good as you can see. So I do like um, that. Uh, with this 635 it is running pretty smoothly. Um, in the beginning it was a laggy here and there but it's getting a bit faster now uh, it's not it's, it's not bad I suppose but when the te uh, actual version of it comes out then it will probably be a bit slower but this phone is a not the greatest phone but it's running pretty smoothly on that um, if I go to the camera here it's changed the camera a little bit but not massively um, like the um, gallery thing up here it used to be um, transparent so you can see your photos what you've taken but now it's hidden that and put in the gallery uh, picture just there uh, they've changed it you can still activate your manual settings here how you want to do it so unlike, the, unlike it it's not not too bad it, it, yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed um, with this update um, uh, yeah that's been my um, review on the uh, Windows 10 um, in the Nokia Lumia 635 um, please leave your comments down below please subscribe if you haven't already and as always Catch you later. Goodbye.